rappers since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back. Quick beer review. Uh, it is cold IPA time. Uh, I, this is a new style to me, I think. I don't think I've ever had a cold IPA. Um, what is a cold IPA? From what I gather, Cliff's, Cliff's, Cliff's Notes version. Um, cold IPAs are basically IPLs, but at a higher ABV and with more hops. So um, they're essentially brewing a super light beer um, using adjuncts like rice or corn to up the body. Uh, but doing it in like the lager fashion, but hopping the shit out of it and the ABV being a little higher. So that is a cold IPA. Um, I'm here for it. They're clear. <laughs> They're crisp. I am, uh, you guys know I'm hashtag team clear beer. I feel like just in a world of haze people, I'm like the one dude with like the flag in the ground saying drink West Coast IPA. I really am. So, uh, Slice Beer Company, Lincoln, California. Did I already say that? Maybe. It's been a long week. Uh, this is 6.3% alcohol by uh, volume. Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. Slice Ice Baby. I like this can art. It is absolutely awesome. I realized I started talking about cold IPA and I didn't show you guys what the can looked like. Big thanks, as always, to my BFF Jared for hooking this one up. Uh, this says <laughs> Slice Ice Baby. Canned on February 17th. Today is the 25th, so less than a week in the can, right? Math is hard. Uh, so yeah, I've seen, I think Peter just reviewed a cold IPA. Um, and I've talked to a couple buddies about them, but let's check it out, shall we? Into the sliced glassware, because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware, and this looks like a lager. <laughs> I always say it, I don't know what it looks like on camera to you guys, because I sit at a really dark red video game. Um, but holy smokes, yeah. It looks like, it does, it looks like a lager. It is, it literally, I mean, it's got that green hue, but this is so clear, like I can see, not only can I see the slice little art on the other side of the glass, but I can see through that and see like the camera light ring and the camera that I'm looking at. It is clear AF. Um, plenty carbonated though, tons of bubbles. Look at that in that proper glassware. I'm telling you, it's science. I've stopped even arguing with people about it. If you say beer doesn't taste better in proper glassware, I just immediately block you, so. Just kidding. The shower pattern is in it. Ooh, this smells fruity and it smells dank. It smells like a bag of the stickiest of Vicky Charlie Murphy. You're definitely getting like mosaic can be like dank blueberry. I don't know if it's quite like blueberry, but it is dank AF. Um, you're getting those normal citrus fruits, uh, like pithy, rindy, like tangerine. got like that catty thing but this has like a it's a crazy tropical fruit I mean we always but I mean, we always say um, blueberry with mosaic but I, I don't know if it's blueberry it it's like fruit punchy but it still has like that nice breadiness it does it reminds me of when you have those really hot like if you've ever had party cup from North Park, it's immediately coming to mind because it's a mosaic lager, a beer like that. And I think I talked about, did I review that beer? I've talked about that beer with friends. Um, Party Cup is amazing because it smells like an IPA. And I just mentioned when you drink that, you don't quite get that because it's a lager. It's not gonna drink like an IPA. Um, I feel like we're kind of getting that kind of a vibe on the nose, but we're gonna taste that when we drink it. It smells amazing. So let's go and taste it, Jerry Cheers. Love you, bro. That is ugh, delicious. It's crazy how light that beer is. It's so light on your palate. It is, it's like drinking a Pilsner, but ridiculously hoppy. Um, and this has a nice pop of bitterness. Like that citrus rind we were smelling, it definitely is right on the back of your tongue. Um, but it's super tropical, like just, it's bright. It's like zesty almost has like a like a lemon lime kind of a thing. But whatever that tropical fruit is, I don't know. I, I said fruit punchy. I'm not sure exactly what that fruit is, but it's fruity. Um, I mean, it's definitely 
not like normal mosaic that I'm used to tasting. Um, but yeah, something like, like this, <laughs> like we've invented like the beer that I want to drink all the time. Hashtag team low ABV. It's under 7%, 6.3. I think we said super light. Um, it's hoppy and bitter enough where you're like, wow, this is delicious, but it's not going to kill your palate. I mean, finishes bone dry. I just chug that. Like I want to chug another one. I probably will. I won't chug it, but I want to chug another one. Um, this is, I hope to whatever you hope to that brewers and slice in particular, just cause I love Zach's beer, um, continue to brew this style. I'm here for it. I will, literally I'll buy cases of beer like this. This is absolute fire. I love it. I love how dry it is. I love how it treats you like an IPA flavor wise, but it's super fucking light. Like a, like I said, like a Pilsner. It's fantastic. This is my wheelhouse. I am here for this. Um, I hope this sticks around. So if anyone is a brewer and you're watching this video for whatever reason you clicked on it, please make this style, make more clear beer for fuck's sake. Like everything is hazy. No mas hazy. I'm just, dude, it's so yeasty. And just, I had a hazy last week and I had one and I like almost immediate heartburn. Like I just, oh, I'm done with it. I'm not done with hazy beer. I'll keep drinking them, but not like this. I'll drink cases of this. So it's good stuff. It's cold synergy from slice Lincoln, in California. If you guys are up north and you're close to slice and you're not drinking this beer, what is wrong with you? Go get it. Um, and if you did have it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Am I crazy? Is this style not fire? Do you not like it? Are you not entertained? Let's talk about it. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.